Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little comparison. First of all, happy Friday. Who doesn't love Fridays? It's like the weekend just starts everything. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do a comparison between Anastasia Brow Definer and the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is my first time using the Dip Brow Pomade, but I've heard great things about it, so I'm really excited. I bought the little brush too, so that it can fit in my purse. Um, the brush is number 15, the mini angled brush, so I'm really excited. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, on the Anastasia website, the Dip Brow Pomade is an award-winning, waterproof, multitasking, and buildable buildable matte pomade that stays put apply and blend a small amount small amount of anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade with an angled brow brush to effortlessly outline feel and texturize brows now that effortless part may not be so effortless for me so bear with me <laughs> i got it it's available in 11 shades i got it in my medium brown that i have my um, brow definer in for the last few months i've been using my goof proof benefit goof proof which i love that as well and so let's let's try the pomade first since i know how to use the brow definer so it comes in this little can i don't want to call it a can it's more of a i was about to say a tin <laughs> no it's pretty it has this lacquered black top and the A, of course. And let's open it. And it's glass. Yeah, that's glass. So you drop that on a hard floor high enough, it'll break. But it's, it seems tempered a bit. So, huh, it looks like you get a whole bunch of product. What I know about my brow pencil is that this lasts me two months, maybe three depending upon how much I use. So this looks like this is gonna last me like a year. <laughs> but let's see, let's see how it works. All right, guys. I got, this is the Anastasia brush as well. The angled brush. I like that it came in a little thing that I can put it back into. If I can get it out, all right. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, that's pointy, pointy. Okay. Oops, did I put my hand in it? I think I put my hand in it somewhere. I think I put my hand in it somewhere, so I have brown somewhere, and hopefully I don't get it anywhere because that would be bad with all this white around the house. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to dip it in there a little bit. I have not watched any tutorials on this, by the way. So we're just going to kind of go with it and see how it works. Okay, I guess I'll do it on this brow because the right side is always easier for me. So here we go. Uh, let me do my line like I normally do. Oh, this is, this is definitely pigmented. And I definitely have probably too much on this. Yeah. Okay. So I put too much. So what I'm going to do is use this little in here and kind of dab a little off. Dabbing some of this off. Okay. This is definitely creamy. Um, okay, let's start filling it. Since I have a lot of product, let's start in the middle because I don't want it to be too harsh in the front. Uh, 
I will say this gives me a nice cut tip. Let's see, uh, how about we go up? You guys can see me just mess up. <laughs> okay, so, so far, I think this is will take some use to me getting used to a bit. Move up a little bit since my hairs go up there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to practice with this because this is this is really harsh. Let me use my little spoolie <laughs> to maybe make it less harsh. Oh, okay. That wasn't hard. Okay, let's kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, this spoolie, if you buy this brush, which I actually do like this brush, um, it's cute and it's small, but make sure you have a spoolie already for the dip brow because you need to blend it in. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm not mad at this dip brow. I like it. Yeah, uh. It's a little bit more controllable too. Okay. Yeah, um Guys, I'm I'm feeling this dip brow. Okay. You see I brought it down a little bit more too. It's just I have not dipped back into it, guys. <laughs> I have not I have not dipped back into it. That's crazy. Yeah, this is good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> huh, okay. Now, let's do the other side with the brow definer. Why'd I have to look and read that? I don't know. Okay. I know I normally just make my line. Go down. Go line. Go all the way around. Okay. And let's start moving up.
okay, that was a lot faster. <laughs> and it's probably because I've gone through, I don't know how many of these, maybe three. So, but guys, this right here, I feel like this is smooth, this is nice, I'm used to this, this is comfortable. However, this takes a little bit more control and figure out how to, you know, how much to use, how much, how, how much, how much not to use. And, but I like it, it's creamy. The brow definer, you know, before I did it, I forgot to tell you guys uh, if it's waterproof and all that stuff. So how about I go back and do that? All right, so the brow definer is this retractable pencil has a unique triangular tip that can be used three different ways to outline and fill brows. Then use the sharpest point of the tip to create fine hair-like strokes, medium. Use the back side of the pencil to create thicker hair-like strokes, wide. Use the pencil on its side to create broad strokes. Okay, so the biggest difference, guys, and this is a pretty huge difference, is that it is not waterproof. The brow definer does not claim to be waterproof. And I like the fact that this is waterproof. I wonder if I, if my brows look too dark. You guys can tell me if they look too in your face and I should have got maybe soft brown instead of medium brown. But yeah, I, I like them. I like the pomade and if you're able to do the whole, you know, brush thing and get it angled and all that stuff, then I would recommend the pomade. And especially because that's, this is gonna last me forever. You don't, uh, I don't keep makeup after 12 months. Normally that's its shelf life sometimes, but yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I would recommend the pomade. I would probably, I would maybe get soft brown maybe. Or no, no, do my eyebrows look too dark or too deep, too defined with my little puffs? <laughs> I would try some different guys. You guys know I love to try different hairstyles. So yeah, pomade, brow definer, you pick one, which one you like best. They're both great. Anastasia Beverly Hills products are phenomenal. And you can use whatever pointy tip brush, pointy tip brush, angled brush that you like but I really like this pomade. This is this is my new go-to now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick and fast video on the difference between Anastasia Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Dip Pomade, Dip Brow Pomade, and the Brow Definer. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful weekend and just relax a little. Take time to relax. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Can I just say that this is bomb? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this is my new go-to product. I yeah. Yeah, I love this. This is phenomenal. <laughs>